Uh, in this video tutorial, I will show you ins and outs of debits and credits, how to record a vehicle purchase with a bank loan, uh, trading, and uh, down payment. Uh, I'll show you how to record transaction as a capital asset addition and long-term debt in QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to be using QuickBooks Online for this video. I'll show you how to add new accounts and master down payment. That's the money out in the banking tab. So in this example, I'll do uh, uh, two transactions. First is the uh, you purchased a new car and the purchase price is thirty thousand dollars, and you put in uh, five thousand dollar down payment, and you have a twenty five thousand dollar bank loan. And the second example, you, put, you traded in your old car, let's say $5,000, so the bank balance is uh, uh, $20,000 in this example, $30,000 minus 5 down payment, 5 trading, old car, so in your balances, loan balance is uh, uh, $20,000. Okay, and then I'll show you how to add new accounts uh, and uh, record a transaction. So I'm going to go to uh, uh, QuickBooks Online now. Okay, so this is QuickBooks Online. Okay, all right. So the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to add new accounts. So in this case, it's uh, you, you 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 need to add a fixed asset, uh, your auto purchase. And then you need to add your long-term lab, that's your bank loan. So I'm going to add these two accounts, you know, chart of accounts. So in any accounting program, you'll have a chart of accounts. Uh, so I'm using the QuickBooks, but uh, any software program, you can add new, uh, new accounts. Okay, I'm going to go to chart of accounts. All right, so I click new here. And in this case, uh, let's say you bought a 2022 uh, Honda Accord. And then description is the same. So you can add, you can give description anywhere you like it. So I'm going to select category. So the category is this is your capital asset, fixed asset expensive items, nice way to put it. So select this one and next is the vehicle one. So your chart up becomes may look different when you set up but basically that's what it is. Okay so this is it is. So 2200 card that's the one we're buying. Okay so I'm gonna set up this one so we got to go in here you will see Vehicle, under vehicles, you see your new car, fixed assets, and the second one I want to add is uh, your uh, car loan, new. So let's say this is uh, Chase car loan. If you have uh, uh, mul multiple uh, uh, loan accounts, then you can to separate. You can just put some number in there. I'm just going to copy this one in here. And the category in this case is your long term liability. Normally, uh, you know, you finance this for more than one year. So let's see here. Long term liability is in here. So loans, lines of credit, other money owed by the business. Click this one. Okay, so this is the uh, this is it's not short term. It says short term to be paid within a year, long term. Uh, you owe for longer than a year, so this is a long term business loan. Click this one and save it. Okay, so if you go to chart of accounts under long-term liabilities you will see your car loans right now 
you have on recorded anything. That's why it's the, it's the, the balance is zero. Same thing with the Honda Accord, balance is zero. Okay, so now the part, the, this how to add new accounts part is done. Now the next one is the big one. Okay, how to categorize transactions to record the vehicle purchase with a loan and down payment. Okay, so this one, I'm going to be using uh, this basic journal entry form. So in the accounting program, in the accounting programs, you'll, you'll see uh, journal entry form. So that's the one I'm going to use here. The form may look different, but the basic uh, debits and credit works the same way. Okay. So the first one, remember the we put in uh, this one here. Purchase 2022 Honda Accord. You pay $30,000 for the car, and you put in $5,000 down payment, and your loan balance is $25,000. Okay, so that's the one we're going to work on. Okay, so in here, just put the date in here. Okay, so uh, the first thing is money out. Okay, so money out is $5,000 in this case. Okay, so money out. Remember on the balance sheet, um, the asset is on is is on the debit side, and liabilities on the credit side. So your bank account, you're reducing your bank bank balance, so it's credit when you deposit is uh, debit. Okay, so select your account. In this case, I have a Chase checking account so this is your money out for down payment five thousand dollars okay now you're adding your fixed assets in this case we just created 2022 Honda Accord that's your fixed asset so you pay thirty thousand dollars Right, this one is the so purchase new car, right? And now the, the the third transaction you have is your loan. Okay, so this is the loan account. Just added the Chase long term business loan. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, and in this case, twenty-five thousand. That's your account, and we haven't created uh, the. Uh, if you want to create, you can vendor create a vendor name here. Let's say Chase Chase Loan. So this is creating a vendor. We already created an account. So if you're writing a check or, uh, you know, transferring making monthly payments somehow you can use the vendor name as a reference and so this one you purchase new car from somebody so let's say LA Honda dealer so this is also a vendor this is basically one time transaction probably unless you buy another one next time and Chase Car Loan, you know, this is a vendor name. Uh, you'll be making monthly payments, so you will have more transactions on this one. Okay, so as usual, debits should equal to credit. So $30,000 debit, $30,000 credit. So once you save it, it should accept it. Right? Okay. So save this. So now, if you go to your chart of accounts, you should see, see $30,000 is your fixed assets, and long-term debt, which is your, uh, okay, should have done, put it in here. Okay, second here, I'll move it. Okay, 
Chase card loan, this one here. Okay, easy to fix it. So now if you go back in here, it's in here, it should be in here. Okay, $25,000 in here, $30,000 in here, and no money came out from your bank account from here. Okay, so that part is done. And now, uh, the, the second one is the, uh, the other one is the categorized transactions to record a vehicle purchase with a loan and in this case, you have a trade-in. You trade in your old car and the down payment the same. Okay. So, let's do the other one. So, let's look at the your journal entry again. So you can write a new one. Uh, I'm, in this case, I'm just going to edit the uh, the one we did. Okay, everything the same except uh, your loan balance is different. It's twenty thousand dollars. All right, this is the loan. New loan. Okay, and so now it's five thousand dollars off. So it's basically you traded in your. Uh, Old car, and it should be on your uh, uh, balance sheet as fixed assets, like we have in here. Let's say I have old car in here. Okay, I'm just going to use this vehicle's account. Okay, so five thousand. This is to uh, uh, this is to for the uh, trading car, and if you have uh, trading car. Okay, this is the old car. Trading your old car. Okay, so it's everything the same except, uh, you know, you, you know, you, in this case you have a low, you have a different loan balance, and then you add it trading. So this is how you do it for the second example with trading uh, and down payment. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Okay, and now the other one. Let's see here. Okay, and how to match down payment. So this is for the QuickBooks money. So if you go to the banking transactions, it will download all your transactions and it should match with this entry in here, see, down payment. So when you upon from your bank feed in QuickBooks Online, you don't need to do anything. You just need to match it, conform it. You know, you don't need to add new transactions because you already did it by writing your own entry. Uh, if you add it again, then basically you're creating a, a duplicate transaction for the for the same transaction. Okay, I'm going to confirm this, and that part is done. Everything done. Okay, so now let's see in here. What's the other one here? Okay, how to record depreciation expense. Usually, your accountant and tax preparer does that when they do your taxes, uh, so you don't need to worry about it. You know, they will do it for you. You just need to tell them, I bought a new car, and it's on the balance sheet already, and uh, let you handle it. Okay, but also you have to write journal entry if you are doing it yourself. Okay, it's very simple. So journal entry, it's basically, you, you expense your, uh, uh, you know, certain, the, the amount you uh, paid, like $30,000 over certain months. So depreciation expense, right here, depreciation expenses, let's say, uh, 
let's see how much, uh, let's say $1,000 a month. And expense, and the, the other side is your cumulative depreciation account. Cumulative depreciation, in this case I have that one. So uh, in this case it could be uh, different things. So let's say you started using this car in July for the full month, let's say $1,000 a month. So this is your July depreciation expense. Okay. So save it. That's it. That's how you do zone entry. I'll show it again. So debit depreciation expense and your credit, your vehicle, uh, your cumulative depreciation account. And uh, when you sell this, you have to uh, uh, remove all your fixed assets from the from your books. So that's that's the part uh, you need to do. To remove all your uh, fixed all fixed assets, you know. And if there's a profit, then that's your uh, or or loss. That should go to your. Uh, uh, income or loss normally it's uh, other income or the other expense type at, at the bottom of your PL. so that's how you do it all right to get more insider accounting and bookkeeping tips make sure to subscribe to our youtube channels we have two channels bp controller the one you're watching and the other one is quickbooks qbo Thanks for watching.